Well, well here's some um, the result of the first two finals. Chen Xiaoqin, the winner of the first one, and as you can see, Clara Ranukro and Tira Chan Chai. Straight game victory of, um, over Jordan and Susanto. And we're just about ready for the third final of um, this afternoon here in Basel. The only final that has European representation. The two Stoeva sisters are up against the number one seeds, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan. Here's um, the, the look at the draw, and we can see that um, Chen and Jia was um, stretched to three games in the quarterfinal against Harris and uh, Putri from uh, Indonesia, whereas um, the two Bulgarian sisters, they have been fairly uh, convincing throughout the tournament, not dropping a game so far. Here first on court, the top seeds, Chen Ching Chen leading the way, followed by her partner Jia Yifan, the left-hander. Bulgarian sisters making their way onto court. Had a very good win in the semi final yesterday against uh, Bao Yixin and Yu Xiaoyuan. Almost ready for the coin toss to decide will be on which side of the court and which pair is going to start out serving. The Chinese pair won the coin toss and uh, I think they elected to serve. Here we have um, Chen Ching Chen, 19 years of age, and uh, six days the senior of her partner, Jia Yifan. She's from um, Xingning in the Guangdong province. Here's her partner, the left-handed uh, Jia Yifan, born in uh, Tianjin, but actually uh, spotted by a Hunan coach. And, Brought up in, in the Hunan Province Training Center. Here's the road to the final. Struggled a little bit in the quarterfinal against um, Dela Destiana Harris and uh, Ika Putrisari of Indonesia, but um, very, very convincing yesterday against Fuoco and Tusen. Um, looking to win their sixth Grand Prix gold final, the two Chinese players. Gabriela Stoeva, 22 years of age, a big sister. The current world ranking of 13 was actually uh, as high as um, 12 last week. Here's the little sister, Stephanie. The little sister is um, a couple of centimeters higher, five centimeters higher. And you might think that um, she was introduced to badminton by her bigger sister. In fact, it was the opposite way around. Stephanie Stoeva was um, playing with a school friend when she introduced her bigger sister to the game. And you can see, very impressive uh, road to the final, all straight game wins. and. Especially a good win in the semi-final against Bao Yixin and Yu Xiaohan. Always a tendency to notice when European players in women's doubles do well against Chinese opposition. Well, here's our umpire, Jan Andersson of uh, Sweden, and service judge, Anu Verdon from Switzerland.
Just about ready to get this final underway. And as I said, the Stoiva sisters with a chance to win their first ever Grand Prix gold title, but also to um, be the only third European pair to win a Grand Prix gold title. Two other pairs, Camilla Rudiola and Christina Pedersen, and if you must concern, Selina Peek. <laughs> Nervous looking uh, first serve return there from uh, Stephanie Stoeva. And a very, very good flicker from Jia uh, Yifan. Didn't see that a lot yesterday against um, the two Danes. I feel that's an important part of the game. Good return there. A little bit of a misunderstanding on the Chinese side. It's gone long. It's over. Three, one. Rally there, great interception by uh, Gabi Stoeva. So it's fall called on the uh, Bulgarians, struck above the waist. Fantastic play there. That cross smash from uh, Chen Jing Chen Five, catches three. Gabi Stoeva off guard and sets everything up for her left handed partner. So I think totally deliberate that she chooses to play that cross court. Excellent. Excellent smash from uh, Gabi Stoeva here. Four, five. Nice variation from uh, Jia Yufang. So important to have uh, variation in your attack. Open up the opponent's defense. Great shot. Oh, it was actually Chen to serve. Yeah, that's a good call. 
gone quite long there. As we discussed earlier, a bit of drift alongside the court coming from the side. The Bulgarians are playing right now towards the Chinese pair. Difficult to control the lifts. Oh, that's another service fault. This time on uh, Chen Ching Chen. She's showing the umpire that she in fact feels that uh, it was legal. However, still 5-7. Oi, <laughs> misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. They were in line, the two Six, Chinese players, seven. to return that shot. Seems like um, Chen Ching Chen really wanted to get um, to the backcourt there. So, could be a part of the uh, tactical game plan for this match that um, Jay Fan is the one who is mostly seeking the front court. Eight, six. smash down the middle between the two Chinese players. Stephanie Stoeva, who smashes eight. here, of course, also an accomplished uh, singles player, not playing that much anymore, but um, focusing on the women's doubles and with great success, in my opinion. Oh, that's a big mistake from Jerry Fan. Mistake. Nine, eight. Ten, eight. Very uncharacteristic, I must say, to see uh, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan commit so many errors. string gone in the, Nine, the record of uh, Stephanie Stoeva and that's why the seemingly big mistake almost hit the bottom of the net, that smash. The two pairs, they've never played each other before, so you might suspect that uh, both pairs sort of use this uh, beginning of the Nine first game to sort of feel each other's play. teeth. Figure out what the preferred shots are. What kind of roles there is. There's another mistake. And uh, a two-point lead for the Storm Sisters as um, we go into the first interval here. Chinese coach Pan Li, very experienced, can be very animated as well. We saw that when uh, Chen and Jia won the um, Super Series Finals at the end of um, 2016. Very, very good uh, win for the young Chinese pair. Also won the French Super Series and sort of emerged on the world scene after the Olympics in 2016. Over. 
And that's more like it. And uh, outside the picture, you uh, can see the Chinese coach applaud her players. That's the attitude that she wants to see more of. Oh. Yeah, well left. I think both pairs are quite tensed at the moment here. Of course, the Stoiber sisters looking to win their first ever Grand Prix gold titles, and Chen and Jia looking to win their sixth Grand Prix gold title, but also sort of make up for a little bit of a disappointing All England they lost in the first round to uh, Tanaka and Yonemoto. I had high expectations for them at um, the All England tournament. It's over. Well, all. And I think that um, the Chinese pair, they have to be prepared to to work hard and, and create their points themselves. Um, they might be able to play a little bit smart and play it in around the body of the two sisters. But um, there's one thing you're certain of, and it is that um, the attitude and the work ethics of the two Bulgarian sisters is absolutely fabulous. Well played. Excellent coverage by Jia Yufang. 14, 12. There, blocks it and follows up. Come along again. 15, 12. Totally consistent with them. Um, the read that we've got on the drift here in the hall. It's over. Nice disguise drop. Or at least the idea was good. The execution lacked a little bit. now I feel the um, Bulgarian pair otherwise um, Gia and Chen will stamp their authority on this match I think ah. powerful smash she's got Stephanie and that's called good very important rally for the Bulgarians, 14, practicing a lot of time in, uh, in Paris. In the club uh, Ici Le Moulineux. Another service fault. Struck about the west again. Let's see here. Wasn't the worst of serves that I've seen. But always um, Play. split decision the service judge got to make. Yeah. I think they've um, upped the pace a little bit since the interval. Chen Ching Ching with the serve here and Left-handed partner, Jia Yufang. Hmm. 
Empire saying something to Jia Yufan. Didn't quite catch it. Played by uh, Stephanie and Gabi Stoeva. Powerful smash down the middle sets it up for big sister Gabi. Got to make a move now if they still want a chance to win this first game. find the backhand of Jia Yufan just behind Chen Ching Chen when she's the front court player. Gone long. Gone long. That lift from Stephanie Stoeva and that um, gives the Chinese pair four game point opportunities. That's gone long. Yeah. And Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifang takes the first game here in the final of the women's doubles in Swiss so Open. 21 16 after 16 minutes of play. 21 16. game by the two girls here they can be satisfied reasonably good game also by uh, the two story of our sisters uh, they had a little bit trouble on that baseline as we expected let's see if they can uh, fix it here in the second game where they play up against the drift Um, a very good tournament they've played. The Stoemas victory yesterday against uh, Bao Yixin and Yu Xiaohan. Very good victory. They have beaten Chinese opposition before. It was in uh, 2015 in French Open where they also beat Bao Yixin. At that time she played with uh, Zhang Qianxin. Last year here in the uh, Swiss Open, they uh, lost in the second round to Super Kul and um, Tira Chanachai, who we've just seen win the title in the mixed doubles. So, um, a big improvement by the two uh, Bulgarian girls. Very, very nice smash down the middle there from uh, Chen Ching Chen. And that's perhaps a little bit worrying for Bulgarians that um, Chinese will get a little bit help from the drift in their attack here on this near side of the court. from uh, Chen Ching Chen. Good defense from 
Stoiver sisters. They won the European Junior Championships together, Stephanie and Gabriela Stoeva. That was in uh, 2013 in Ankara. Two, Stephanie one. also won the women's singles and that occasion. And Chen and Jia, they've topped that a little bit because they have two World Junior Championship gold medals together. 2014 in Lima. And Sorry, 2015 in Lima and 2014 in Alonso. Ah. Oh, the uh, over. linesman covers his eyes. Two, oh. But the umpire calls it in. Yeah. If the linesman covers his eyes to signal that he or she can't make a decision, then the umpire has the opportunity. If he can see whether the shuttle was in or out, he can make the decision. Otherwise, it's called let. And you play the rally one more time. Good bounce back from uh, Jia Yufang. Finding the gap on the uh, Bulgarian uh, court side. still feel that there's a little bit uh, too many mistakes from um, Jia and perhaps especially Chen Chen Chen. But really good work by um, Stephanie Stoeva from the backcourt here. Very powerful smashes. Good defense. It's a, it's a no-nonsense women's doubles. Whenever there's a chance, all four players go for it. Oh, that's a pity. She set it all up, Jia Yifang, but um, the disguised drop shot was too short. Fell on her own side of the net. Chen actually won one Super Series more than her partner because she also won the um, Australia Open in 2016. But that was together with uh, Bao Yixin. It's, over. it's called Five, in. Let's smash there. Uh, <laughs> that's probably a situation where the Chinese pair would have wished it was a Super Series where they could have um, challenged it. Very, very hard to judge when you have these cross-court smashes sliding um, close to the line. It's very hard to judge whether it's inside or outside the line that it touches down. Another good rally. Oh! 
Excellent uh, smash Four. placement from uh, Jai Fang to the outer side, to the forehand side of uh, Stephanie Stoira. That's all square here in the beginning of the second game. Just having the court mopped. Good start to the second game by these two girls here. Two sisters. I think that's the way they want to continue the match Final with these clear play. offensive uh, positions or clear defensive positions. That's what gives them the best chance. Another good flick from Jay Fan. Good interception there. And I think I think Jia and, and Chen they, they might as well realize that it's gonna be tough Six, this match five. here. They're going to have to work for it. And important to take the small opportunities that we saw Chen Ching Chen make use of there. Deflected by the net court, but saved by Chen Ching Chen. Seven, five. Great effort. Excellent. That's exactly the situations where. The Bulgarians, they, they don't really clear it Eight, after the, uh, clear the situation after the um, service situation. They're under pressure all the way through that rally. And that's, in my opinion, the easiest way for uh, Jia and Chen to, to score points. Good read there. Nine, five. Good drop shot. Yeah. Well worked by Jay yeah. Fan. Uses uh, good Five. variation in her attack and gets herself in a better and better position. Chen Chen Chen, as, as always, very, very uh, animated. And she plays well. And that's perhaps one of the explanations why Six, she's serving a lot of flicks, Jia yeah. Yifang. That went straight into the net. Uh, good return. And a five point lead for the top seats. Here, uh, in the interval in the second game, 11-6. Yeah, Pen Lee offering some advice, and um, I think she's reasonably satisfied, but, but not more than that. I mean, it's not that we've seen play on um, that Super Series Finals level we saw in 2016, so a few adjustments probably needed. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 
from a Bulgarian point of view. I think same game plan, but um, try to be even more disciplined in the execution. Try to hit the backhand like here in uh, the service situation when they return. Get either total defense or total offense. That's gone wide. Service over. 12, 7. Yeah, good reaction. And it's in those situations where 13, it's played seven. around the body, played at the net. I feel the Chinese have the Big, big advantage compared to the Bulgarians. It's like they wanted a little bit too much Chen and Jia when they've got the attack. They are attacking, and that's their uh, offensive thinking women's double. But it's not like. Um, the Stoiva sisters are threatening to counter-attack when the Chinese pair have control of the rally. 14, let them stand eight. there and I think with a little bit more patience they can outmaneuver their opponents. It's gone oh. wide and long. 15, but the target was the backhand. Eight. So um, the idea was was good. You can see that Gia had moved a little bit towards the backhand side for that service return. It's been 15 years since the last World European <laughs> finalist here in Swiss Open. That was Gail Ems of um, England playing with Lotte Jonathans of uh, the Netherlands. And um, 18 years since the last European winner. That was Ricky Olsen and Mette Sorensen. So it's been dominated by Chinese women's doubles and uh, a few Korean pairs has won it as well. Yeah. It's, over. it's gone long. 16, Six point lead now for the top seated Chinese combination. Looks on uh, cruise control. That's well played. You'll never get out of the pressure from the service situation. Stephanie and 17, Gabi Stoeva. And that's where their experience come into play. The experience of Jia Yifan and uh, Chen Ching Chen. She missed it. She put it long. Over. That was really lucky because I think um, Stephanie Stoyer, she 17. broke a string in her racket. She did. Yeah, there it was, that defensive shot. 12, 17.
gone white. Over. 18, 12. I think it's now an error for that Bulgarian combination if they want to force a decider here. Very powerful smash from uh, Stephanie Stoyer. It was the most promising player of the year in Europe in 2013. That's a good rally again. Yeah. Just put that wide, Chen Chen Chen, and when, when the, the story was, when they can get these rallies going where it's clear offensive 30, position or clear 18. defensive position, they have, a, they have a good chance. They are willing to work really, really hard in each rally. And that goes as well, of course, for for Chi Fan and Chen Chen Chen. I mean, that's that's a prerequisite for playing women's doubles at top level. Great smash there. 19, it's gone wide. Service over. It's not really 19. working well. The serves of uh, Jia Yufang. Got that healthy elite, you can afford a few mistakes. That's gone long. Gone long, and uh, five match point opportunities for Chen Ching Chen and uh, Jia Yufang. Take their second title of the year. And there it is. Second title of the year to the combination of um, Jia Yufang and Chen Ching Chen. They were the top seeds in uh, this tournament and they take their seventh Grand Prix gold final all over. Great performance throughout the tournament. Match won by Chen Ching Chen, Jia Yufang, 21-16. 21-15. Here's confirmation of the score. 21-16, 21-15 in uh, 37 minutes. Got to be two happy Chinese players there. Avenging their first round defeat in uh, All England. Taking the title here in Basel last year when they played the tournament they lost in the quarterfinal to Fukuman and Yonao of Japan now they're the champions what a great effort that is the winning point. Good service from uh, Chen Ching Chen. Waiting for the price presentation coming on next. It's amazing to think of that uh, the Chinese combination, the winners, 
Jia and uh, Chen, only 19 years of age. Already got seven Grand Prix gold titles on their CV. Chen Qingcheng has um, said that um, she feels that she's improving. Um, she's happy for all the great results that she makes, but she still feels she lacks exposure um, to players at the highest level to compare to the previous generation of um, Chinese women's doubles players. First on, of course, the uh, Bulgarian sisters, Stephanie and uh, Gabriela Stoeva. Played a great tournament. They can uh, be proud of their effort here in uh, Basel. Um, didn't get the victory this time, but it was really, really tough a position that they were up against in the final. Yeah. Smiles from uh, Gabi Stoeva as uh, Christian Wackenagel is uh, presenting uh, the trophies to the runner-ups. Souvenir from Martin Spicer. Uh, tomorrow they will be very happy for their performance in this tournament. And here's to the winners, Chen Cheng Chen and uh, Jia Yifan, the top-seeded combination of the tournament currently ranked fifth in the world they bounced back from uh, all England and took their second victory of the year also won the Thailand Masters Grand Prix gold earlier Christian Wackenagel here presenting the trophies the uh, president of um, Yonex Swiss Open Martin Spicer, the president of the Badminton Federation of Northwest Switzerland, where we are in the uh, city of Basel. Two happy uh, Chinese girls there. Ready to focus on the next challenges. Nice gesture here to invite the silver medalists on to. Uh, the top podium. And as with all the other finals, we get the uh, lap of honor. Very popular, the two uh, Chinese girls as well. Very nice to see their emotional expressions during the game. Where's the heart on the sleeve?
So we're back 